All right, now we're going to take what we've already learned in the last section and apply it to three sets. So we have the same definitions though, union, intersection, complement, those Venn diagrams come back. So, but instead of just using two subsets at a time of the universal set, we're going to talk about, um, you know, potentially three subsets at a time. And you could do more than that too. You can continue on with larger uh, or more subsets. So we're just going to do some practice here and answer each of these questions. And again, the key thing here is to think of these like puzzles and take them just one little piece at a time. If we see parentheses, we always do that first. So if you do see parentheses in a problem, just like with PEMDAS and order of operations, we start there, even with sets. So we have our universal set here. Um, the numbers one, th the whole number is one through nine. Our set A would be the numbers one, two, three, four, five. Set B is the numbers one, two, three, six, eight. And set C is, are the numbers two, three, four, six, seven. So again, these are all subsets of the universal set, right? They're different rearrangements of that universal set. Um, and now we're going to, again, just kind of perform some operations with them. So in the first example here, I do see parentheses. So I'm going to start with this piece right here first and find what B intersect C is. So remember, when B intersect C, we're looking for numbers they have in common so that they're in both sets. So these are your elements um, in common or in both sets. Okay. So if I look at B and C, I want to say, well, what elements do they have in common? I see they have the number two in common. They have the number three in common. They have the number six in common, and that looks like it. So let's see, I don't see any ones. I have the two, the three, the six, and then the eight, four, and seven don't have any matches. So that would be our intersection. Now I'm going to find the whole thing. So now I'm looking at A union B intersect C. So I'm looking at A union, and then sometimes it helps us to write the set in there, two, three, six. Just kind of reminds you what that va those values were or those elements were. Now, union is different than intersection. So union means we combine everything together. Think of the word unite. So unite these two groups. So for A, I have one, two, three, or five, that's my set for A. And then my set for a B intersect C was two, three, and six. So the union needs to combine these all together. I don't need to write repeats though. So I have number one, I have two, I have three, I have four, I have five, and then I have six. And again, I know the two and three also appear here, but if I have them already, I don't need to repeat. So that would be my answer. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so here I have two sets of in, um, parentheses. So before I do anything with the intersection in the middle, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna find A. Now, remember, if you have a union, a U, think about unite, bring them together. So I'm gonna combine all elements in A and B. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and then from B, I have one, two, three, then I also have six and eight. I'm gonna do the same idea with A union C. So again, I'm combining sets A and C together here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and then from C, I have two, three, and four already included, but then I see a six and a seven. Now I wanna find that intersection. So remember this symbol here means intersection. That's what's in common. So this one means intersection. And then the two U's mean, okay, so we're uniting. So now we're looking for the intersection. So I wanna see, well, what's in common between these two? Well, they both have a one in common. They both have a two in common, three, four, five, and six. So our intersection is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the last group, again, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now I see I have parentheses here, so I need to start there. Um, but notice that I do have the complement of C. So instead of trying to do the union right in my head, it sometimes helps to write that complement out first. That's what I recommend. 
Um, same thing, notice I'm writing steps out first. I'm not trying to do everything in my head. It's just too much to keep all those elements straight. So before I find the union, I'm actually going to find the complement of C first. So the complement of C, you can think of as not C, right? A lot of us use that word not instead for complement, or um, sometimes we'll say C not here, um, using that as the word not. So I want all the elements in the universal set that are not in C, so the stuff that's left over. So if I compare, I have the number one. Now, two, three, and four are in C, so I'm not going to include those. I'll include five. I have six and seven here, so I won't include those. And I have eight and nine. So all the numbers that are not in C. Now I'm looking for B union, the complement of C. So I want to unite the sets B and the complement of C. So I'm going to combine these two sets together. By one, two, three. Uh, I don't see a four in either set. I have a five though, I have a six, I have an eight and I have a nine. So again, I'm just combining those two elements. You don't have to go in order. It's not incorrect to go out of order. It is that we usually do, uh, but if you have it in a different order, it's not incorrect. Uh, we just don't like to have repeats. So I'm not gonna write that, you know, number eight twice, for instance. All right, I think that's all of them. So that's this piece here. And now I'm going to intersect that with the A. So sometimes it helps just to write things over again. I'm going to take that A. And I want the intersection, right? So I want the intersection. So where do these overlap? And I see that they both have values 1, 2, 3, and 5 in common. And there's my final answer. So still working with three sets is a little bit more complicated, um, but just take your time. So think of these like puzzle. That's how I like to do it. Um, think of them more in like a puzzle format, um, but take your time. So if you see parentheses, always start there first. If you see compliments, write that off on the side before you start incorporating it in. Um, and just take your time. Don't try to do it all in your head. Um, it gets too confusing, too messy. So take your time by writing those intermediary steps out.